So now in this video, we're going to look at using a momentary tactile push button switch here. They, the ones that look like this tend to fit in the breadboard fairly well. And so I use them a lot. So I'm going to use them in this video to demonstrate the knot gate. So to begin with, we just have a simple LED circuit here. So we have a resistor to the positive rail. There you can see it pretty well. Resistor positive rail comes here to the long lead of the LED, the anode, short lead, the cathode, up one row, which goes to this gray jumper, which plugs into the negative rail. That's the way you need it wired to conduct. So that's just basic electricity stuff. Up here we have the resistor to the positive rail there. The long lead, the anode is up here, short lead cathode there. It comes to the switch. Of course, it is off until we close the switch. So this is a normally open switch. So right now it's open. These two pins are not connected right now, so current cannot flow. We close the switch. Now current can flow through there. And so we're going to now change again. You can see this gray jumper there. So for the not gate, we're gonna move this here, down here, so I'll plug that into the row with the LED and then the other one to the negative rail. So the LED is on. Now we just added this to the circuit and while the switch is off, the LED is on. So now we're gonna turn the switch on. And so there's different ways to make the switch. This is a mechanical one, a simple one. So now you can see that the LED is off. So the current that goes through the resistor now, it's much easier to go through the switch to ground. So this point right here is when I have the switch closed is directly connected to ground. So everything from where that resistor is on, this whole conductive area called a node, it all becomes one node. All of this goes to the negative rail. So there's no reason for it to go through the LED to the negative rail there. We're connecting negative rail there to negative rail there and uh, now that the switch is open now it goes through the resistor now it has to go through the LED because it can't go through the switch and that's the basic properties of the knot gate that's how they're commonly used there may be ways where you don't waste electricity because when I'm pressing the button right now currents flowing through the switch more current than when the LED is lit up because we don't have the voltage drop and so this would be something more for just kind of temporarily turning something off but it's very effective you just eliminate the power from getting to them and uh, so you see this from time to time but uh, it's the simplest not gate and so I figured I would show that first in this series of videos we'll look at better not gates in the future so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.